Coach O'Hazard feel to have the guys back in equipment today? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit noisy out there today. It felt good. You know, I'm excited to watch the tape and, and see how it went, but I think it's always something that everybody anticipates. Uh, it's great to run around and get the guys and everybody back, but once you get in the pads, it feels just a smidge more like football. And uh, one more, what's it like having Jagarid back? Yeah. He's here for a reason, you know, it's uh, his personality is infectious and um, you know, we welcome him back to the group and looking forward to uh, what he does on the field. That defensive line, in bag, you've got a lot of guys. Oh no, oh no, we can't have too many great people in the building, right? Uh, there's great competition, I think, Steve, and that's just it. And I think that's both national players and, and American players. That's that's the truth. And there's the, unfortunately this game uh, more than any or unlike any other, I think, is unfortunately you kind of have to anticipate injuries. And if you're able to stack some depth and those type of things, I think it just uh, it bodes well for everybody. Uh, you don't. And if you don't if you don't have any, great. Let the let the best people win, and uh, we welcome that. Yeah. A guy doesn't report on time, gets suspended. Yeah. Does that have any hangover effect in any way? No, it's, I mean, that's, okay. we, we handled that, it's, right. it's no challenge. Uh, I have a couple of housekeeping things here, so okay. um, Duke, where's he at? Duke's, uh, we have a plan for him. Uh, he'll be reintegrated real soon. There's no anything, it's just there's not a rush uh, on that, right? Uh, you know, he had a procedure in the off season we were well aware of. Um, we've got a plan. Of, of his return date, and he's right on schedule. Early? Early. Yeah, no, sorry. sorry. What do you mean early? What do you no, mean, mean by John. early? Not Thomas. Oh, Erlington. Oh, yeah, early. You're yeah. talking to yeah. slang, midseason slang already. Already. Uh, Erlington, yeah, he, he's, he's again, it wasn't it wasn't uh, anything terrible, but enough to keep him out today. Oh, and Nick. Oh, same thing. Uh, uh, Nick just had a little injection uh, the other day, and there's no hurry there. Obviously, he had the procedure in the off season. Uh, we're just not in a hurry. You know, I know it's every everybody wants to get out there, but one or two days here at the front end, uh, it, it's not a big deal at all. So he's on schedule. We got a lot of uh, kind of intriguing new targets. Yes. Today. Yeah. Types and shapes. And that. How, 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 how competitive do you expect that to be for you know the additional American receiver spots? Extremely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you you saw it, right? And that's just, you know, I think anybody in any camp would say, oh, yeah, we love our guys, but they've actually produced yeah. and and made plays, uh, timely plays, really. But you're looking for consistency, right? That's the thing. So you, you don't want the quick flash in the pan. Yeah, you can make one. And so you're looking for them. And, you know, the, the peak soreness is going to set in here real quick. And then there's another uh, evaluation to be had. Got it. What, what position groups oh, are the are the ones you expect to be yeah. most competitive overall? Yeah, I hate to hit you with the cliche, but I mean all of them. Like I, mean, I really challenge the personnel department to whether we think we have somebody or we acquired somebody in free agency. It should have no bearing yeah. on us trying to bring in the best players. So. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's always a couple, as you always know, that just yeah. surprise you, yeah. right? There's guys that sometimes are better in Skelly and guys that are better in team with the pads on. Somebody's going to shine in a preseason game, and that's the beauty of it. That's what this league and football is made up of. Yeah, you notice, just looking at rosters in general, looking at some of the guys that flash you and I was always looking at their schools. So you've got more small school, more small conference okay. guys here than maybe in the past, and I assume that's the effect of XFL and USFL. Mm -hmm. You guys are digging a little deeper, maybe more of those guys. Yeah, you got to have people that are willing to come up. They're yeah. passport ready. Like there's yeah. all those things that come into play. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Outside of just oh, I like him on tape. Yeah. Thank you. And there's a lot of things that go into it. So um, I can't speak for for yeah. other teams or sure. that. But if that's something that you've noticed, I would imagine you're not far off. Right. Right. right.